Hello Indie Game fans! The final video on the new indie games I missed in October includes the demo of a game that I'm looking forward to, a wonderful looking tactics title, a Pokemon Snap inspired game, a pixel art title built in Pico 8 which looks awesome, more horror titles and a 1.0 of an awesome looking roguelike shooter which I cannot believe that I missed in the past. The Last Spell Prologue is the first 5 days of a turn-based tactics roguelike which promises to throw hordes of enemies at you. Really love the look and I'm excited to give this a try if I ever find the time. A cute looking brawler that launched in 1.0 is Wonderblade which looks alright but is sitting at mixed reviews. Spooky Chase is a Halloween themed platformer where you need to outrun your own ghost from past performances. It looks hectic and chaotic with a decent pixel art style. of a pirate is hard. Sometimes you just get tired of robbing, drinking rum, or hunting treasures. Sometimes you just want to sit in a tavern with friends over a mug of grog. Who am I kidding? What could be better than robbing? Assemble a crew to make it easier to rob. Explore dungeons and rob its inhabitants. An interesting looking pirate themed game is Sync Again, mixing turn based tactics and ship combat, which looks pretty neat. Attack and rob peaceful ships. Rob more! But remember the golden rule. Every ship will eventually sink. If you love Pokemon Snap and cannot wait for the new entry, I would recommend Penko Park to tide you over in the meantime. This has you exploring a spooky wildlife park 
snapping shots of spooky cute creatures and looks well put together. Another first-person sim makes the list with the fantastic-looking Alchemist Simulator, where you play as the titular character, preparing ingredients, brewing potions, fulfilling contracts and upgrading the lab in order to become the most powerful alchemist ever. Matter of Time is a neat looking smaller action adventure game with a sci fi theme where you play as a warrior plucked from the 12th century and is thrown into the future where you are now equipped with a light blade and have to fight against an evil organization, but this game looks pretty good. Do excuse the trailer since this is fully translated into English, but Plague MD is a simulation title where you play as a plague doctor in the 16th century who is actually a quack, but it does have a pleasant art style and interesting mechanics. Contari is an adorable adventure platformer made in Pico 8, which is a fantasy console that has been used to make some fantastic games. I believe this is from a Japanese developer and is quirky and weird with objectives that are perhaps not so clear but it does look great and may be worth checking out.
Visage is an impressively freaky first-person horror game which is deliberately slow-paced, but of course is filled with chills and spills. It is set in a house in which terrible things have happened where you are completely defenseless and dying is part of the game. But the house is ever changing, so perhaps a horror rook light which is fascinating in design. Pacer is another fast-paced anti-gravity racer following in the footsteps of games like Wipeout or F-Zero but with a modern sheen and has been well received. Speaking of racing games, Star Drift Evolution is very similar to the recently released Art of Rally since both are minimalistic, drifting focused racing games that look wonderful and is another title of interest in the space. Happy's Humble Burger Farm Alpha is the free playable teaser of a first person horror game where you are a fast food employee who has to manage the restaurant and serve burgers, where unfortunately you are haunted by a cow of all things, so it may have something to say about our society. One more bullet hell title makes the list with Demonizer, this time being vertical but in gorgeous pixel art and looks fast and frantic and for fans of the genre.
Positron X is an amazing looking roguelite first person shooter with some really impressive looking action and art, and it's a bit more old school in feel as compared to things like Gunfire Reborn. Pretty impressive, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.